An Oxfam in Nigeria, together with other civil society groups, have blamed the extreme poverty in Nigeria on high-level corruption in the system. Today, as business elites gather in the Swiss resort town of Devils, Oxfam, Nigeria, together with other civil society groups, have condemned the disparity in wealth between the rich and the poor in the country. Absent of um, uh, proper taxation system in the country uh, is also one of the very reasons why the government is losing a lot of money. We will agree with me this, this fraudulent uh, tax holiday that they do give to corporate you know, agencies. If only they are losing uh, that money, they would have been able to address some fundamental developmental challenges that we have in Nigeria. There's no reason why, because you have interest in the company, because you have interest in the company, you will go and give five-year tax holiday. And there is no monitoring of the commitment that is supposed to come along with it, which is to say that if we give you tax holiday for five years, you should use the social corporate responsibility to help in terms of aggravating education, health care system, and infrastructure. Nobody monitor whatever uh, those corporate agencies or entities or companies are doing with that. So we are losing a huge amount of money simply because of corruption, because the people approving this tax holiday they have a share in those companies. And that is why we have been pushing for beneficial ownership. Because with beneficial ownership, we will be able to identify and know who owns what, who is director. The recent scandal, again, Paza, exposed how government officials dubiously use their own company, use their wives and children, and get you know, this kind of a, either consultancy or contract or tax holiday. What happened in the ministry? Today, we're dealing with a few people who is capturing the state and also might lead to anarchy. Because if inequality persists, what would we have is anarchy. Today, the Nigerian people cannot enjoy service delivery or social amenities. Over five trillion Naira was given as tax level. This is un unacceptable. While the federal government is saying they cannot meet budget demand, and we're going to borrow, knowing that Nigeria is currently carrying a debt body, and yet we're giving tax incentive for people who are profiting in billions of dollars within our economy. No, this is unacceptable. We need a new era of tax. A regime that ensures fairness, equity, and justice. Because again, if we continue like this, this will lead to state capture and anarchy. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.